But this is uh, my impression of Elliot eating the chocolate. Of course, this is much better quality than the Thornton's advent calendar that Elliot was eating. This is Friars. <laughs> oh, Matt's got some, some dessert. I like custard. I do like custard, thank you. This is a much smaller batch. There's a cake in there somewhere. Oh, thank you. Mm. <laughs> okay, so this is Roger doing an impression of me eating my advent calendar. <laughs> oh, yes, I do do the sniff. Elliot won't be offended. Don't be offended, Elliot. Just I'm not, it's funny. It so <laughs> I said ribbing. <laughs> oh, you mucky man. Mm. I did it for 24 days. <laughs> Hi everybody and a happy new year to you. Happy 2023. And we are greeted with, we've had lightning, we've had thunder, we've got hail. It's been torrential. Um, it actually, the, the first big clap of thunder happened when Bo and Molly were outside, so they ran in, um, and then for the past half an hour, it's been lightning and thundering, and then we've had hailstorms. It keeps coming and going, but, I mean, just look on the table. That is proper hail. So, yeah, oh, look at it, look at it. Now it's coming down, and obviously you can hear it. You can hear it on the skylights. So there we have it up here. I mean, it's just, yeah, it's just extremely wintry. I'm hoping you can hear me over all this noise. But look, I know, look at this. It's awful. I'm just telling everyone about it. Happy New Year. Look, oh, look at the path. Is that, it's looking like snow. Yeah. Wow, that's, um, that's crazy. Wow. Hi everyone, it is the 2nd of January and it's a new year, new us. Matt's been to the gym this morning, even though it probably wasn't very nice weather. I would imagine that time of the morning. It was nine o'clock. Okay. It was half past nine. You were what? still in bed. I was tired. My blepharitis is playing up on my eyelid. <laughs> so I think I must have been, I must have needed the rest. So Matt's made some soup tonight, mm. so we're having soup. Uh, it's uh, We were supposed to do broccoli, but the supermarket, Morrison's, was out of broccoli. I don't know what these people are doing. They must be stuffing broccoli in their ear holes. I don't know what they're doing with all this broccoli. Leave suggestions what you think people are doing with all this broccoli. But anyway, so what have we ended up with? We've ended up with parsnip. And carrot. And carrot. Or spicy, anyway. Yeah, hence chilies. the colour. Yes, it's got chilli. So you can actually be... see the bits of chilli. Oh, yeah, you can see, see a bit of a chilli chunk. Um, so that's looking nice. Oh, I've also subscribed to Gardener's World magazine. Um, so it starts in February. So we picked up the January edition um, from the supermarket just so I can have the full year. So I'm going to be using this to kind of help plan and things throughout the year for the garden. So that's why I've got that. Um, I'm still making my way through the gingerbread houses because Matt doesn't like gingerbread. So I've, that's what I've done to to that house. I just walk by and pick some. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, there we go. We will be taking down the... Well, there I am. We will be taking down the Christmas tree shortly, within the next few days. I've kind of had enough of it now. It's the new year. We want to just, you know, enjoy new year things. So anyway, that's the little update from today. Hi, everyone. It is the third of January and we're cooking tonight's dinner. Yes, it, it's dark outside, look. Oh, hello, what are you doing up here on the island? You shouldn't be up there. So 
So we're having some chicken goujons, which Matt is putting on the air fryer trays. Matt's also made some chips from actual real potatoes. Mm. Can we see them? Oh, this has got a light, hasn't it? How do you put the light on? Oh, there you go. So you can just about make out that they're in there in one of the trays, but turn the light off. Um, it's really, really good so far. So we'll just do a little quick updated review. It does everything we've had in there has cooked really good. Would you say it cooks true to time? Uh, yes. <laughs> Hang on, let me just, <laughs> let me remove you. He's just been sick as well. Come on, sweetie, there we go. All the way down, there we go. Look how I did that while still filming. My goodness. He's got his little Garfield weeble wobble and I, he hasn't worked out how to use it yet. Uh, so I'd say it's pretty true to time. Um, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, really cooked, it's cooked really well and you can get three layers in if you're doing things that aren't too bulky. So we've got the goujons out. We managed to get all them in, yeah? Pretty much, yeah. <gasps> and that's it. What's the matter? Oh, Matt's gone back to the gym today. I have. I'm in so much pain. Oh. Well, I went back yesterday. I know, but you've Today's, gone today as well. Two I, days yeah. in a row. I'm in so much pain. I can't, I can't straighten my arms. There. Oh, no. No pain, no gain. <laughs> Tomorrow is a rest. You'll be like Arnold Schwarzenegger by this time next year. Next time, we'll be doing a full body tour. Ah! <laughs> Yay. I can't believe it. Matt just waited until we were off camera just to, to reveal a scandal. That was a big scandal, but I thought it, wouldn't, it wasn't worth well, filming. Do you want to reveal your scandal that you noticed? So, because I have a memory like a hawk when it comes to numbers, I remember these packs of breaded chicken from Sainsbury's used mm -hmm. to have 22 goos on them. 22? And how many are there now? 20. <gasps> They've reduced them by two. Good. Rory, keep out of the way. Uh, they've taken off two. And I noticed today, because I've got a, an eye for money, yeah. they have charged more they for have. them. It was like four the pound, expensive. four pounds, fifty yeah. for a pack of 20. When they used to be, I'm sure it was close to three pound, or at least like three pound 20 or something, for, for more of them. Yeah. <gasps> scandalous. You scandalous goujon. Right, so here are some of the, um, we've got three of these big storage bins. Now, if I move them in here, there weren't a lot left. There was a load of these boxes when we last looked in the, in the store. I really wanted ones like these with the clear. There was only one left. So we've ended up with these um, sort of big bins. They're really sturdy and strong. They were £10 each. Um, oh, look, it's got a raw. I think they're actually meant for children's toys maybe but they'll be perfect for christmas decorations so let's get to it thank you there we go very <laughs> michelin star yeah it's lovely look at that wow we've got a few more things on this way they've upped the game they have wow look at this we're at the chesney indian Chicken tikka masala, and we've got some um, dry ice. Oh, no, in the lemony chicken. That's lemon chicken. Vindaloo. And a, and a vindaloo. Garlic and coriander, One each. Hi, everybody. Just thought we'd catch up. We're on the road. We're almost into Wales. We'll probably go past the sign. If we've not already, have we passed it? No, it's coming up around the corner. No, so I thought you could get some beautiful scenery. Please ignore the, the dirty windscreen. We do need a clean. We do. We do know that. So I think the last time I left filming, we were actually in the Indian restaurant. <laughs> so you saw some, we had some really nice food. It was gorgeous. It's, a, it's really nice Indian. And they started doing all the dry ice and being very um, flamboyant, I suppose, yeah, yeah. with the presentation, which is quite nice. Uh, before that, you saw a clip of us. Well, no, you didn't see a clip of us doing it. I spoke about taking down the Christmas tree decorations. I'll show you the living room back to normal um, when we get home. But it looks really, really bare. I didn't actually film us taking them down because it was. We were trying to do it in a bit of a Sign. in a bit of a rush. The sign's coming up now. Welcome to Wales. There you go. Welcome Trisor to Wales. How do you say it? Croissant Gumri. Croissant Gumri. No. Croissant. <laughs> Croissant. 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 E. E. Gumry. Croissant E. Gumry. Croissant E. Gumry. I'm never going to get it. <laughs> so, you're seeing some beautiful scenery <laughs> on the way into Wales. We're going to have Sunday dinner um, and then we're going to go home. And then hopefully, oh, it's just been a really busy week. 
Yeah. It's been a really, really busy work week for me. Uh, Matt starts his new role uh, within the same job, but a different role. Yeah. Um, from tomorrow. Um, so yeah, it's a busy week ahead. Lots more royal news. Oh, I've been swamped. I mean, off, rushed off my feet with all the revelations, all the leaked revelations from Harry's book. My goodness, yeah. it's been it's been crazy. So anyway, we're gonna enjoy the rest of the ride, enjoy the views of the beautiful Welsh countryside, and next time you'll see us is probably tomorrow. Oh, I also need to film um, unboxing some new roses Ooh. that I've got for the garden. Probably make that into a separate video. Woohoo! Uh, somebody yeah, won at Monopoly. They have for the first time in my and life. How would you like to share your winnings with the world? Uh, it's, it's, it's all mine. Is, is it it's all, all yours? Mine. All mine. Oh my goodness. It's all mine, all mine, all how mine. How do we throw the board? You've got all of these. All of the hotels and houses on the board of mine. Yes, and by the way, this is a Royal Windsor edition Monopoly. Someone gifted it to us. Yeah, it's, it's actually the second time we've played it. It's got oh, Windsor yeah, Castle, fine. it's got St George's, it's got things like the Queen Victoria statue. Yes, you've won quite a bit of money. I think I'm going to take some of that for some new shoes. Give yes. <laughs> Right, so here they are. My roses have been delivered and they've been here a few days, so I really need to get these in the ground. I should really soak them in a bucket of water, the, the bare roots, um, for about an, at least an hour before I put them in the ground. However, our ground is very, very wet and these really do need to go in the ground. So, and also the light is going to fail me very, very soon. So, Let's just get them in. Right, so it's really freezing out here right now. So I've just opened um, this bag here. I've got two of these. These are the myocardial fungi, I think that's how you say it. You're supposed to sprinkle those on the roots and it helps them to take. And here are the bare roots. Um, so there should be five. I just need to snip them um, and I'll plant them and then we'll kind of go through what they are once they're in. So this is what they look like and they will sprout. If you can see, there's already little sprouts coming already shoots rather okay the light is fading you probably can't tell from <laughs> from this video it's been a struggle but i've got them all in i will show you tomorrow properly when the light's in uh when the lights well i'll show you tomorrow when it's daylight uh, i'm absolutely exhausted getting them in so i'm gonna go in pack away and go inside hi everybody it is thursday and what date are we we are thursday the the 12th. The 12th. We're Thursday the 12th today. I'm totally losing track of my days. Anyway, I've had an Amazon order come in. It's all to do with the roses. It's a very manly order. So we've got uh, some wire. This is what I'm going to use to train the roses across the top of the fence. It's quite a thick wire. In the recommendations, people said I need a good wire cutter. So I've got what I think is going to be a pair of really good wire snips. I've also got some new garden secateurs. When, when I'm pruning, these seem to have good reviews. I will leave everything linked in case you want to know what I bought. We also have a bow. I've got some eye screw in hooks that will go in the fence. Um, and they sent me a little booklet. There we go. And apparently, you can have a, pe a set of really pink tools. Uh, so, there we go. That's what it's looking like today. Okay, it's all well, it's, it's been raining, it's been really weird. So, we've had rain and then it's gone to like almost full sun <laughs> it's really really strange so let's do a little quick garden update the pots that i've got either side of the bench are doing quite nicely all the bulbs are coming through i literally can't remember what i put in there <laughs> uh, but they are doing quite well so lots and lots of spring spring bulbs are coming through now over here as well see we've, we've actually got some some regrowth on some of these there's some regrowth over here as well. So, and we've still got some autumn leaves. Anyway, so one of the roses that I planted to grow and cover the fence is this one. They're all David Austin, as I said before. Um, and I thought, what was this one? This one is Alberic Barbier. Uh, so that's gone in there. And that will hopefully grow and cover that, that side of the fence. Now, remember the greenhouse is going to be here. So, and we are having this little patio area extended. So I didn't want, to, the, the ideal place to put another one would have been there. But, so I'm, I may need to get another one at some point. But I put one here to go sort of this way across the fence and across that way up to the gate. Uh, and this one went in quite nicely. 
Uh, this one is, what is it? What is it? It's Q Rambler. So that's gone in there. Uh, I'm definitely not extending the patio behind where the greenhouse is. So that will grow up there and cover that kind of area. Um, the one for the back fence is over here. Bearing in mind, I did all of this when it was, <laughs> the light had completely failed me. It was awful. So this one is, I'm trying to remember what I've done. Um, this one is Paul Noel or Noel. Paul Noel or Paul Noel? I'm not entirely sure about that one. I had a bit of a rejig over here and I've put one up here. So this one is um, Bobby James. I will put pictures so you can see. And the one over here, now this is the same one that was in the old house and it's a really, really gorgeous one. Um, and I've covered, I think I've covered the, um, the label of it. Where is it? Okay, so this one here is called Alexander Giroux and it's that beautiful kind of scarlet colour. Hi everybody. Mm. How are you? You good? Mm. Yes. So we've just come back from the... Both say hello. We've just come Hi. back from the shops and it's the 15th today. It is. My goodness. Ooh. Anyway, I, we haven't done a, like a big food shopping haul for a while. In fact, we haven't filmed for a while. So <laughs> I think we should probably do one. So we've got a big bag of food. This big bag of food cost about... Is there a receipt in there? I think it was about £46. And we've got about... 4621. 46.21. So, Morrison's. It wasn't too bad for all of this stuff that we no. got. So let's have a we've look got at what we've like, got. about, like, what, eight meals? Worth yes. Of because it's give out snow, potentially, on really bad weather for the rest of the week. So, it's not too bad at the moment, because it's, it's not too yeah. bad. But anyway. We'll so get the first, not the only naughty thing in here. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, gosh. some hobnobs, because they were yeah. on offer, £1.75, I do believe. Because yeah. you do like some hobnobs. I do. I love I love a good yeah. hobnob of an evening. Bread, bread rolls. These are really lovely. They are the um, salt and pepper black fat. Oh, by the way, we saw uh, a lovely viewer. We did. Hello, we did. Guys. Hello. <laughs> uh, we, we, we spoke by the milk section, and it was really nice. To, it's yeah. really nice to meet people. And yeah. she actually bought a house. She did. Um from watching one of our videos, so... so thank hello. you. Hello. Please say hello. Yes. <laughs> uh, we've got mushrooms. We're going to make some mushroom soup. Yes. Mush we had broccoli and cheese soup yes, last please. week. I accidentally made five litres of yeah. it, so we had it for a few days. <laughs> but it was I, nice. Five litres of soup, yeah. my goodness. Got a little sourdough to go with yeah. it. Yeah. Sourdough with the soup. We do actually pretty much have all of that, but never mind. Milk. Milk. Uh, we've got some cream for the soup. Yeah, just a little little pot of double cream. Yeah. Some chicken stock. Yeah. Things. Chickens. And a garlic. Yeah, we need the garlic. Uh, some Thai sweet chilli sauce. We get this from like the World Foods aisle, and it's much cheaper than buying normal sweet chilli dipping sauce. Yeah, so that's so, top tip. Yeah. Go to the World Foods. Definitely. We've got some Thai green curry paste, because we're going to make a Thai green curry. Yeah. With some coconutty milk. There we go. Uh, orange squash for me to continue drinking my two litres of water a day. Yes. Yes. I have put a new video out on my channel. Oh, yes. This goes out. Yeah. Whenever but... I... I'll leave it linked. <laughs> yeah. um, we got spaghetti loops. Yeah. These are for Matt. Like... I don't really like them. Well, I prefer the like beans. These. You like the beans. But I don't like a lot of beans. So I just got a little yeah. tin. Uh, enchilada kit. Yeah. They're nice. We've we yeah. had those for a few weeks and yeah. uh, we like those with salad. We do. Got some peppers. Yeah. And we've got some cherry tomatoes. Mm -hmm. We didn't get any ham. Oh, did we forget the ham? We've got the ham. Well, we get some, we've we got get some today. Uh, onions. Yeah. Big pack of onions. Big pack of potatoes. Potatoes. Oh, a steak pie. Yeah, having that tonight. Yeah, that's tonight's tea. Uh, we've got some frozen fish. Yeah. Do we? We've also got some like garlic and herb in breadcrumbs. Yeah, we normally have the Kievs, but they were out, so yeah. we got these instead. We have had these before, and they are quite nice. Stockpiled some milk yeah. for me. That's what is oat milk. I do, and it's organic. It was on offer. Yeah. So that's our haul. Not yet. Oh, there's there's more. There more. Steak mint. Oh yeah, steak mint. Make a chili. That and was on offer. Two meals worth of chicken breast pieces. Yeah. So all of this for forty six pounds, and the only thing we forgot was ham. So. That's quite a nice haul, isn't it? Yeah. I do believe. 
It's all very healthy. It's well, very, very healthy. Compared to what we normally get. <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot of bad things in there, which is good. Yeah. So I don't think I showed you all the living room de christmas <coughs> So here it is. It does look bare and plain. Um, I think we have a few ideas for this room. Um, we got used to this chair being over here, and but it doesn't look right being there with nothing big in the corner. Uh, the Christmas tree sort of evened it all out. I mean, it does look quite nice and spacious like this. Um, but I think we might try getting another big plant for that area and then moving the chair back. So it was quite nice having the chair facing the TV. Anyway, we still need to get some artwork for the back. I know some people reached out about the posters that we saw in Miami and some people have graciously said that they would be able to get them for us and uh, and send them. But we, so, but we need to get cracking with it really. So um, I still haven't found anything that I think we like better than those Miami posters, those kind of Art Deco posters, but they would look really, really nice there. Um, but yes, it's kind of de christmas and looking just, I mean, everything does look a little bit bare after Christmas, doesn't it? I've also had this through the post, um, 15% off David Austin Roses. And I know I've already bought quite a few, but I may get a couple more for the front of the house because our uh, porch has got two support posts, which we could grow some up and which would look quite nice and villagey. So I might do that. Uh, weather's just been really cold. It was like 13 degrees in the house this morning, so we had to put the heating on because it was just really, really cold, even with our big fluffy oodies on. Um, so, yeah, I still... I've ordered some gardening clothes. They should be coming today, like a pair of gardening trousers, because I realised that I didn't have any garden trousers whatsoever. So I bought, ordered some of those, and when they come in, I will show you. Um... I imagine that'll be in the next vlog because I want to close this out and get this uploaded because it's been a while since we've had a bit of a life update. Um, so anyway, garden. I do. I didn't do a proper full rose video because there just wasn't time and I just needed to get them in, in the garden. But I am going to start doing a new segment every single month where I do a garden update. So I will be filming one once I've got my gardening clothes for January and then there'll be an update every single month. And I, th I think it's good to kind of catalogue the progress of the garden because it is essentially a brand new garden. Everything here is pretty much new apart from those piles of slabs over there. So I thought it would be very, very nice to just document a whole year in the garden, what changes there are, uh, we'll talk about what plans we have. Of course, things might change as time goes on. Uh, but we do have plans. And, yeah, I just think it's nice to do an update. I could, to go through all the different seasons. So I think that will be nice to do and document. OK, so we're in the boudoir with Molly. And I think Molly would like to help me sign out today. <laughs> so thank you for watching this video. I know it's been um, quite a disjointed video. It spans quite, it, well, it spans about two weeks, basically. So um, thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking through it all the way to the end. If you've made it through to the end, I don't know, you could maybe say, say maybe just type Molly. Maybe give a lovely comment about Molly because she is gorgeous, aren't you, girl? Yes. So thank you for watching this far. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media. And of course, do hit the bell so that you know whenever Molly uploads a new video. So from Molly to you all and goodbye.